What's going on guys? Time to talk about another Z grade micro budget um shot on video indie film. It's called By the Devil's Hands, the 666 Killer. Released in 2011, written and directed by Christopher Abram, who's also done films like After Sundown and The Fang The Fangleys, I think, or the Fangless. Uh yeah, so he's done a few. Um, this is a thriller about, it's basically a slasher thriller. Um, it starts off with, uh, this young boy watches his, like, dad or older brother, something like that, um, basically torture women and kill people. Um, yeah, but, uh, basically the killer, 666 killer has, uh, six ways to torture them, six ways to kill them and stuff, and it's six pe different people, so, uh, yeah, that was his M.O. And then he disappears for, like, 25 years. So, as, uh... You just, then you hang out with this, uh... You get introduced to the main character, which is this girl who survived an attack when she was younger. And, uh... Yeah, now she's still traumatized by it because the 666 killer is coming back. And, uh, is basically doing the same things before. And it causes her to have mental instability she can't work well or anything like that and she uh yeah starts having hallucinations and stuff at work and it's driving her mad basically and uh yeah and then uh but there's something odd about some of the co-workers and stuff and uh other people and you're not sure who is who and it's sort of like a guessing game and uh yeah and you're on this uh trying to solve this puzzle with this uh check and she uh tries to um, get people to believe her in certain aspects, and some people do, some people don't, and vice versa, they flip it sometimes, and uh, it was interesting to watch this film, because uh, I didn't expect that from, like, a really low-budget indie thriller, and um, uh, I call on this one a thriller, because you can sort of, you see the killer's faces and stuff like that, where if it's a horror slasher film, they usually hide the identity and stuff like that. That's how come, how I break it down, is this is more of, like, the thriller territory than a horror film, in my opinion. So, um, but, yeah. So you go, and then it has some pretty cool twist ending, a twist towards the ending, and the final twist at the ending is pretty well put together. Uh, it's a little bit predictable, but overall, it's still a decent film. Uh, if you're not a fan of torture stuff like Hostel and Saw, you're probably not going to be a fan of this type of film. Uh, it looks almost like a snuff film almost. <laughs> um, but uh, the acting's not that great. And uh, But overall, the story and the way the characters are written was decent. The main thing I also don't like is how there was, it was like all a dream type cliche was used a lot in this film. And that's uh, I know it's an easy way for filmmakers to... Uh, lead the audience in different directions and stuff but i think you could do it way more creatively and stuff this is just your your typical cliche and they do it more than once uh but other than that the film is well constructed for the most part especially near the end but uh, like i said the acting is pretty bad and uh yeah overall it's shot on video so some people might get turned off by the cinematography and stuff like that but overall i thought it was it was decent. It's not the best thing out there. Um, it's watchable, but uh, don't go in expecting anything super fantastic or anything like that. It is a little bit predictable towards the ending, too. So, yeah. But overall, I thought it was entertaining, fun. I'd recommend it for certain people, anyways. Um, yeah, but if I was going to rate it out of 5, I'd give it probably 2.5 out of 5. So, yeah, Dark Measures... Or by the devil's hands, sorry. Um, by the devil's hands, the six 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 killer is a decent film. Um, just the acting's not that great, and there's a lot of cliches. Some of the editing thing can be a little disorienting a bit and stuff, but overall, it's okay. Um, yeah. So if you're if this sounds like something you're interested in and you want to check out more of it, there's a trailer link down below. And as always, my Instagram is always linked down below too, where I post clips of films I'm going to view in the future on my story. So, um, and I usually have the title and a hashtag somewhere in the video clip, just in case you want to try to find it. Or if you're just curious to see what I'm watching, let me talk about it next. You can check out my Instagram. 
and there's always the subgenre of film in case it's something you're not interested in like if you don't like slashers you probably wouldn't want to care for this one so yeah i do that to be nice so make sure you follow me on instagram to stay in the loop comment your opinions down below if you've seen this film i'd love to hear what you thought of it and if you have any films that you want to hear my opinions on in the future comment those down below too i'll try my hardest to get to them as soon as i can and if i can find them and uh, make sure you like this video, share it so more people are aware of it, and make sure you subscribe. Because you never know what I'm going to talk about next, because I think I have one more, like, micro-budget film. And then I'm off. And then uh, who knows what else I'm going to talk about after that, because, yeah. But, yeah, so make sure you check this one out if, you, if, it, if it sounds like something you like. You might actually like this one. So, yeah, but till the next one, cheers.